what's up beautiful people let's bust this out guys last video of our brain series i don't know i did three other ones um about about the brain the previous one was other minds about squids and octopus octopuses octopusi cephalopods guys the cephalopods genius within whenever that chooses to focus and the brain that changes itself guys this is the one this book is the best one out of the lot but a very close second is this the brain that changes itself by this marco Magrini guy i dig this book guys um it's a very close second to this brain that changes itself i would buy both of these books and read them very slowly and thoughtfully um brain that changes itself was more more difficult actually than this book this book is a very well written book um, and it literally breaks the brain down into its components so neurons um, neurotransmitters myelin sheets axons synapses neurotransmitters only goddamn draw sites only dot only goddendrocytes, which everyone knows what that is. I forgot. I've forgotten what it is. I don't know what it is. But basically, it looks at each component of the brain, looks at the topography of the brain, where what is located, and what that um, is responsible for. So it looks at the reptilian brain, the brain stem, um, the amygdala, the thalami, the hippocampi, hypothalamus. Hypo, hypothalamus, hypothalamus. There's a lot of bloopers already, and we just started with the introduction, guys. God damn it, god damn it. Lucky you, stay to the end, and then I'm just gonna cut all these bloopers into that, uh, that final piece. But yeah, guys, looks at the structure of the brain, how, what it's made out of, how it works, what sections are responsible for what, what its main features are, memory, prediction, and plasticity big one is plasticity um, and that's why i like this brain that changes itself it's all about neuroplasticity um, it's quite a big book so it takes long to read this one is not long to read it's quite small and um, very easy read very very easy read very enjoyable read uh, very re relevant everyone will get something out of this book um, uh, it looks at how the brain operates you know how what emotions uh, do, where they sit, and um, how it's actually all in the brain and nothing comes from the heart. So if someone calls you heartless, I guess, you don't need to, to have a heart to be emotional. You can just, but if you're brainless, you're fucked. You're fucked. You are not going to get anywhere, guys. Um, yeah, this book, really, really enlightening stuff. It is a user's manual for your brain, guys. Literally, if you want to look about... Um, Let's say consciousness, there's a chapter on it, self-awareness, chapter on it, empathy, free will, personality, reward systems, how you smell, how you look, see, how you, how you taste. That's a, that can be misconstrued there. Misconstrued? Misconstrued. Yes, it can be. Yes, it can be, guys. Diseases on, of the brain. It looks at... Um, what stress can do to your brain, how your brain can malfunction, it looks at Alzheimer's, uh, autism, chronic depression, lots and lots of lots of good information in this book guys and it's like 250 pages so you can bust it out quite quickly in terms of reading it but you'll have to you'll have to reread it. I'm definitely gonna read it again again I'll read this one and brain that changes itself these are very good books, guys. Very, very good books. Um, on the consciousness side of the brain. I'm quite interested now in the subconscious. But I'm going through a phase of reading about leaders and historically important people. I'm actually reading this gangster-ass book here. The 50th Law. 50, 50 Cent. 50 Cent. 50! My main man, Curtis Jackson. Uh, and Robert Greene. Uh, it's fucking, it's a great book, this thing. Um, it talks all about fear. But yeah, I'm gonna look into a lot about people now. And then I'll get back into the brain and subconsciousness and things later. But it's definitely a cool rabbit hole to go down. 
So I recommend you get down that rabbit hole. You can start with the brain that changes itself and the brain that uses manual. If you want a light read, The Genius Within, super simple read. And if you want a weird read, Other Minds, you have to be very conscious and thoughtful while reading Other Minds. Because I cannot remember almost anything from Other Minds. Yes, I know it talks about consciousness and awareness and how it relates between cephalopods and humans. But other than that shit, I cannot for the life of me remember what the fuck else is going on in this book. And I mean, it won the science book prize. Because it's scientific. I don't know. I don't know, but it didn't capture my attention. Not like these other books. Not like these other books. So, that is it, guys. That is all for today. Update on 90 day challenge. I have failed it, I guess. I don't know if you want to call it that. I was sick again. Um, and antibiotics till tomorrow. This is my last pill for the day, baby. Um, and I just took the whole fucking week off from Tuesday. I just can't be tired, like sick and working out. I was sick for over a month now doing this damn challenge. So we're back at it tomorrow. We'll go kick ass again. But I would really want 90 days in a row to do this thing successfully. Um, however, I don't know what to do when you get sick. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the 75 day hard thing. Although, to be honest, what I'm doing is much more difficult than that shit. So, I don't know if I want to downgrade to 75 hard. Is that arrogant if you say that? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? I don't know. Maybe I'm trying too hard and it's not sustainable. And 75 hard is more sustainable, so it's, it can be achieved versus what I want to do, which is like two, three hours of working out a day is not achievable which reading every day for like an hour and a half is not achievable. All this shit, it's too much stress on your body. I don't know, but it fucked my body. My body looks good. It looks good. And it, I've inspired quite a few friends to work out harder, which is a great outcome. But, and I mean, we're going to carry on with it twice a day at least. And then we're just going to even pump it up higher now. But I want to carry on until my end date and then see what I learn and apply it to another training regime. And that's it, guys. That is it for me today. Workouts stopped this week. We're going back after it from Monday onwards. That's it. That's all I have. Learn about your brain. Go learn about your brain, motherfuckers. And like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. Everything, guys. I will see you next time. I don't know what we're going to talk about next time. But I will fi figure it out by then, I guess. Cheers, guys. The brain. The previous one was other minds about squids and octopus. Octopuses. Octopusai. Cephalopods, guys. The cephalopods. G Synapses. Tr neurotransmitters. Only goddamn... Drosites. Only got dendrocytes. Which everyone knows what that is. I forgot. I've forgotten what it is. I don't know what it is. Hypothalamus. Hypo. Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus. There's a lot of bloopers already, and we just started with the introduction, guys. God damn it. God damn it.